Okay, we got long sword, refillable, and this. Uh, they do have to be careful because of invade storm. I mean, you wanna invade? Okay, let's go for it. Why not, bro? Why not? I'm not skilling Q here. I mean, uh, if you invade, let Thresh walk in front. Alright guys, so we are playing against Skull this game. What you want to do, first strike all the time. First strike all the time. The build this game is pretty simple, guys. You rush opportunity, then you rush Yumo's Ghost Blade, then you rush uh, Cyrilda's Grudge, and then after that you can you can just go for um, where is it, man? Ah, oh, I can't find it. Spear of Trojan, and also Sundered Sky. It's great. Trust me, it's it's really good. You'll see. Since I probably also need, um, I mean, this game you can also go tier. Like these two, these two builds are viable. And I will probably go tier. Oh wait, I thought he would actually queue me, that's why it like W'd forward. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, bro is just pushing the wave. Alright. I didn't place a ward sadly, which is a big mistake, but it's okay. I just think that Galio is gone here. Skill immediately. I have no idea where this guy is, seriously. I'm a bit scared here. Where where did he go? I think my bot lane maybe, I don't know, like this is just cringe. Bro, my lane is just gone. Wait, he took a reset? And he bought refillable with it. I have never seen that in my entire life. Is that 5 fat? I don't know. I thought I could proc for strike there, not the case. I was a bit too slow. Okay, though, he just used his amazing trade. I don't even want to trade like this, but it's just free, man. I don't know, this guy just gives me so much. Q, do this, and now I can just take a quick reset. I will wait for this pot, and then I can actually get Dirk and TP back into lane. Let's get it. Don't even need to wait for it, actually. I still have both of my wards. I will make use of them, don't worry. Okay, I probably just didn't see that. Easy kill, lovely. Can you please not push my wave? Bro. What are you doing? Bro, what is this guy? Okay. Let's not complain and just move on, okay? It's really important that you keep a cool head. So not what I did right there. I'm so confused. Whatever, dude. Proc for strike. I know that he would have interrupted my back there. Now I will hold my... Hold my grass queue here and just keep pushing the wave. Drake is up in two minutes. I 
don't want to die in that in that time spawn. All right, let's cue this and go. Actually, something is happening here. Yeah, this is a great fight to play. And we get another kill. Amazing. You just go for free kills, guys, and proc for strike all the time. That's how you play this specific room page. And you can only do this into matchups like Galio. Alright, let's push this wave. I know that there's a fight happening, guys. I'm not blind, but... It's okay, he has no flash. Vi is there, so I can't really do anything. Let's just take a reset now. Um, it is a relatively minor wave, so I can easily shove this, I think. Can you hit something, bro? Like... She might hit 6 here. My bro is not hitting anything, but it's okay. Next wave is shoving in. Awesome. I'll place a ward here, since I don't have a better spot right now. And also a ward here, because I want to go to sweeper. Uh, let's get opportunity now. Grab this, this, and just walk back into lane. As you can see, we are skipping boots because we have magical footwear. You can also go for cashback with this build, okay? Both are fine and viable. Yeah, Vi is inting now, but it's okay. I mean, we can just practice our combos a little bit here. Since she's inting now. Just use her as a target dummy pretty quick. Take a look at my Zyndra, nothing is really happening. Ping that Galio is missing and I'll take a reset again. I just grabbed two long spots here. Yeah, Vi just keeps hinting. Guys, it is what it is, you just go into the next game here. But it's really important that you keep the focus up. Don't int now. I know that one person's inting. Yeah, but don't int yourself right now. Okay, keep the focus up. Okay, let's keep going here. Cue this wave. Hit the first two minions with it. Wait a bit, so it's, it's a kill. Cue the backline minion, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, Q. Maybe look for this Ezreal, maybe also look for this Karma here. I don't think there's anything we can do, to be honest. Okay. Let's just run back into mid lane here. It's just important that you use your time, okay? That you don't have a time disadvantage here. Walk back into lane, catch this wave. Watch the minions pretty quick. I mean, I don't really care. I am getting low, yeah, but I do want to take a reset, like, anyway, because Drake is coming up pretty soon. And I do want to get my um, Dirk into long swatch here before Drake actually comes up in a minute. So I will get that. Dirk, long sword, TP back into lane, have great tempo, push the next wave, don't lose too much HP. And then see if we can maybe even get a kill somewhere on the map. 
I will hit level 9 here, which gives me level 5 of my... I don't really know what this guy is doing, to be honest. I mean, I could try to one-shot them, but to be honest, I don't really care. I mean, I can one-shot this Galio. Like that, run out of the tower with opportunity movement speed. And now I should just contest the Dragoon with my team. Provide some vision here. Jump over with my sweeper. Nothing is up. Amazing. Get the next wave. We could also go bot lane here. But I know that they are fine. It's just a feeling that I have. I know they are fine, so don't waste time here. And actually keep pushing and making the life of the Scalio miserable. Let's see if we can get a plate here. Or if Scalio shows up. I am also trying to uh, proc his proc uh, for strike here. And the only negative about his build guys is basically the, the mana that you are missing and the ability haste. But the damage is really nice, especially into builds like this and to champions like this. Amazing, and now we can take a reset and get Yumos. I don't care about any of this, I need to take a reset here. He might jump onto me. Never mind, he's not. Now we just get Yumos. And run back into lane. Look at my tempo, guys. Almost 10 CS per minute, 4 kills. A lot of first strike proc. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We don't care about deaths or something like that. We just move on. And now I'm, like, basically huge. I one-shot minions now, which is crazy. It's really good. Auto, auto, auto. Just keep auto taking it down. All right. This is a war from Karma, I think. I think that we might be able to do something here. Amazing. So now we just extend our lead towards bot lane as well. And take a reset. I don't want to spend too much time mid lane now. If we actually screw up bot right now, it's like really good. By the way, you don't get boots. Uh, you get two long spots here and just build into your cellular scratch. We have minute 13 and I'm on my way to my third item, guys. Third item. Because the gold amount you get is crazy. 40 gold from the pot, you get 200 gold from first strike, and you get a lot of gold from treasure hunter as well. Great build. Skill the R. And move on. Yeah, I'll just get like one more wave here. Just need one wave. Kill the creeps. And run bot. Could also go for the kill here. But it's a flip, so I just catch the wave and then keep sidelining. As you can see, the auto damage is like crazy. It's really, really good. The way you push waves with this build is you auto attack the backline minions because you don't want to use too much mana on the wave actually. Now you get the kill here because as I said the damage is kind of crazy. Even though this guy is like quite tanky, he has a lot of base tankiness, it doesn't matter. 
And if Kel doesn't show up here, I will get a tower as well. Yeah, look, she's top. Drake is up in 1 minute 20. What's up, Gilabite? Glad to have you here, man. And the FF again, guys. Another FF15. There you go.